All right. Uh, welcome, everybody. It's good to uh, see you here. Please, can you turn on your cameras? Uh, except if you are not in um, maybe a good location. But if you can, it is best to, uh, to always have our faces on so we can see ourselves. The world is a small place, so we can always uh, know ourselves. Uh, first, I must commend all of you for uh, being punctual to class. Uh, I'd sent uh, emails reminding you of this class. I have quite a good number of registered students for this course. Uh, it's surprising to see only six of you. Uh, well, if you can hear my voice and uh, see my video, if you can see my face, uh, please let me know on the chat window. Just uh, send me a message on the chat window that you can see me or you can hear my voice. So I will be sure that we are on the same page. You can give me your feedback on the chat window. Let me be sure that we are on the same page. Just to be sure that you can hear my voice and that I am not talking to myself. All right, thanks, uh, Cornelius. Thanks for the feedback. Williams, can you hear me? All right, thanks. Okay, as long as um, one or two of you can hear me, it means everybody should be able to hear me. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to this uh, class. This is our very first class for this course uh, with the course code CSS 244, uh, and the title is Types and Analysis of Security Threat. Um, this is going to be an interesting course. Uh, all you have to do is to, is to pay attention and also follow the emails that I sent to you by reading the materials that I sent to you uh, so that we will all be on the same page on this course, all right? If you do that, it will be much more easier to understand the basic concepts in this course. And of course, it will be much more easier for you to pass your exams and uh, move on to other levels. OK. Um, I hope you received the emails I sent to you. Do we have anybody here that didn't receive the email? OK. Anyone? OK, if you received the email, uh, let me know. Just let me know if you received the email and went through the material. Did you read? Did you read the, the section I asked you to read? Did you read the material? Okay. All right, okay. Okay, thanks for the feedback. And so we, without waste of time, let me clarify that this is a fixed class. All right, this is a fixed class. The actual schedule for this course is on Monday from 12 to one. That means that after today's class, Subsequent classes will be holding on Mondays, 12 to 1. Please do not log in here on Wednesday, 12 to 1, to attend classes for this course again. This is just a makeup class because we missed the class on Monday. All right. Having said that, uh, today we are going to be looking into, today is more of an introductory class. And so we are going to be looking at a course guide application for you to know how the course is structured. Then we will look at the second aspect, taking the first topic, which of course is the concept 
of the conceptual definition and types of security threats. The conceptual definition and types of security threats. So we are going to be looking at the definition of security threats and also the different types. Um, I am happy because this is going to be more of an interactive class. Uh, the training we are giving is that this is not lecturing. What we are doing is quite different from the conventional practice in the uh, uh, conventional universities. All right. Um, this is facilitation and this is student center. It is more of an interactional process. Um, that is why we prepare the materials, send them to you. You have to read, come to class, then we discuss it. That is the only way you can have better understanding. Uh, by that way, we ensure that you are reading, all right? You are also reading uh, ahead of your examinations and to face real life challenges. Even though we have, uh, some of you are uh, already um, security personnel. Some of you are in the uh, field, some of you are more exposed. And so it will become beneficial to us when we discuss uh, some of the topical issues that will be handled. So please make it an interactive class. Feel free uh, as we discuss uh, so that others can learn along the line. All right, so I'm going to take the first aspect, which is the course guide application. Uh, then you are going to tell me what you've read and where you are having challenges, all right? Places you do not understand, those concepts you do not understand. Then we can discuss them together right now. That is the essence of this exercise. So I will take, I will take the course guide uh, application by just um, giving you the uh, basics of what the uh, course, of how the course is structured. So please pay attention while I make that presentation. And if you have questions, uh, feel free to, um, to ask and uh, I'll be ready to explain. Just a minute. Okay, I am uh, almost ready. Okay, so uh, I hope you can see my screen at your end. Now, again, the course title is Types and Analysis of Security Threat. And the course code is um, CSS 244. Uh, this is my name and this is my email address. Uh, with um, the email address, you can contact me anytime if you need clarification on any issue. All right, so um, this is the uh, facilitation structure for the course. Uh, facilitation for this course is every Monday from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. I had mentioned this. Uh, today's class is a fixed class. We uh, missed the class on Monday, and so we have to do a makeup class, which is today, to uh, cover up. Okay. Uh, so every Monday, you log in 12 to 1 p.m. Now, the facilitation duration, the entire duration of facilitation for this course is eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks has been um, uh, structured out for facilitation. So we are doing the first week now. We started on Monday uh, on the 13th. So 13th of September to 31st of October should be eight weeks. Should be eight weeks. And within these eight weeks, we should be done with facilitation. We should be done with facilitation. So eight weeks, one week is already out of the way. Um, now, your 
TMA, your total mark assessment, this is more like your continuous assessment. It's more like your test, all right? As facilitation is ongoing, you will be taking your test along the line. You have three tests, all right, to take. This is the first one, the second one, and the third one. Now, they are, they are fixed for um, the first test should come up between 1st to 10th of October, 2021, okay? So by this uh, date, you should be taking your test. Uh, it doesn't mean you must take it on the first. It doesn't mean you must take it on the 10th. So uh, from the first to the 10th, any day you are free to take the test, you take the test, okay? Uh, same thing here, second test will be open from 10th to 24th. Uh, once this is closed on the 10th, I am sorry, you will not be able to, to take that test again. And the implication of not taking a test is that you are likely going to fail the course entirely. You're likely going to fail the course entirely. So ensure you take the test. Uh, if you don't participate in one test, you are likely going to fail the course. Now, uh, second test from 10th to 24th. Create time within this time, this date, and ensure you take the test. Same thing with the uh, third test, TMA3, Tutor Mark Assessment 3. 25th of October to 7th of November, all right? So um, that means by 7th of November, all tests or all tutor marked assessments should have been taken. If you missed any, uh, you will not be able to participate um, in it again, and you are likely going to fail the course. Each, each uh, tutor mark uh, uh, assessment uh, takes 10 marks, all right? 10 marks. 10 marks. And so uh, cumulative is what 30 marks, 30 marks. So uh, do your best to ensure that you um, have some good performance here. All right, so uh, having said that, the tutor mark assessment takes uh, 30 marks, then the final examination takes 70 marks. Total is 100 marks. So this is how you are going to be assessed in the course. Now, uh, some people will ask, um, what is the nature of the tutor mark assessment? At this level, I know you are already familiar with that. So you are going to be having objective questions to pick the correct answer. Okay, so um, I think these are just the uh, basics of um, this course, sorry. Okay, so that, that's the basics for, of uh, the course uh, structure. And I'm sure that um, you understand that at this level. So I will now open up for uh, any of you that have questions. I said, uh, like I said earlier, this is an introductory class. And so we are going to hit the nail on the head straight on without waste of time. So if you have questions concerning the uh, course structure, please let me know. Just uh, you can raise your hand and um, we will take the question. If you need clarification with the cost structure, uh, you can raise your hand with the uh, then I, will, I can address it. All right, uh, let me assume that um, you all understood the, uh, the cost structure. Okay, so we are now going to move into the second aspect. Uh, this is an introductory class. And so we will simply be looking into the conceptual definition of um, security threats and the types, all right? Uh, that's scratching uh, within the surface. We are not scratching beyond the surface now. Uh, just to look at the first key term, define what security threat means and what are the different types of security threats. Now, the material was sent out to you. Uh, if you read that material, and uh, you actually got something from it, please just indicate by raising your electronic hand so we can interact on that topic one. Let's be snappy. I'm trying as much as possible not to waste your time uh, so we can utilize this one hour or 45 minutes appropriately. Okay, Williams, your hand is up, that's good. If you read the material, if you found, found time to uh, go through the material that I sent to you, 
Uh, you can indicate by raising your hand. Just raise your, your electronic hand. If you read it, you go through it, raise your electronic hand, let's interact. We want to look at the conceptual definition and types of security threat. Only Williams, All right, uh, Williams, let's hear from you. Uh, okay, um, Jeremiah as well, just two. Yes, it's good for us to be honest with ourselves. Uh, the only way you can succeed with this course is to read. You know, you are not in the conventional university system. And that is why the uh, course is structured in a way that we as facilitators or as lecturers, we must ensure that you are reading. Like for week one now, we have structured out that for this course, you should read the conceptual definition and types of security threats. All right, for this week, we have structured it that you must read it. And so um, in the whole class, we have two persons who actually read it before coming to class. Well, for those of you who didn't read it, uh, I understand that due to exigency of duties, you may not have the time to go through it. But please, it is important that you always find time, even if it is 30 minutes, try and go through whatever is sent to you so that you can quickly finish up with this course and move on. So, um, uh, Williams, let me unmute you. Uh, you can unmute yourself at your end. Just tell me what you understand by um, security threat. Feel free, let's make it interactive. Let's Hello, sir. It. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Williams. Yeah, um, I've actually gone through the, the units and uh, according to our, what I understand about the security threat, to my own definition is uh, anything or any act of, or, or any act that threatens the well-being and peace of a society or a, a, a country that's fantastic that's that's the, yeah. that's the that's the key that's the basic term when you are when you are defining security threats now for instance yes, sir. Um, let's bring it up to practical uh, perspective now we are hearing of um boko haram we are hearing of banditry we are hearing of um uh, kidnapping here and there and all of that. Now, as a, as a professional, and you are talking to the public, how do, are you going to classify all of that? I'm sure you are going to group all of that as what? Security threats. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. So all of that sums up to be security threats. Now, as scholars, uh, you are discussing, you will not begin to list them one by one. You can simply say that the different security uh, threats bedeviling the Nigerian economy or the Nigerian society today. Now you have lumped up everything into one term. Okay, so when you are talking about security threats, you are talking about those things that put society in danger. Those, thi those things that threatens your existence. Okay, whatever threatens your existence is a security threat. Okay, kidnappers. Arm robbers, uh, assassins, um, whatever threatens your existence. Flood, it must not just be man-made, as we, we get to know, we will see the different types of security threats. Flood, earthquake, all of those are security threats because they threaten your existence. Jeremiah, what did you read? Can you unmute yourself? Let's hear you. What did you learn? Any challenge? Was there any problem? Was there any area needing clarification, Jeremiah? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Hello, sir. I can hear you. Hello, sir. Go ahead, speak on. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Jeremiah. Okay, okay. 
I, I read uh, security threat. I see security uh, that put danger in, in the existence of a, an individual or community. Yeah. So anything that uh, that uh, seems to be dangerous, that seems to threaten an individual or a community security threat. Well, that's that's okay. That's all right. Thanks for reading. Um, Yakubu, did you read anything near the types of security threats? Yes, sir. Yes. Did you read anything close to the types of security threats? Yeah, I go through it partially like that. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So anyway, I will, without uh, wasting much time, uh, let me just, you can take down your hands now. You can take down your electronic hands now. Um, I will quickly, very briefly go through the uh, basic concepts. I had sent that material to you, but for um, your benefit, because uh, some of you didn't find time to read it, but I still encourage you to read it. Um, let's just quickly run through them again so you will um, be able to understand the uh, basic terms order just a minute All right. I hope my screen is clear enough. I hope you can see my screen clearly. Um, okay. Um, this meeting will end very soon. I, I mistakenly shared the... Um, I mistakenly shared the trial a zoom link from uh, next week we'll be using the permanent link which is unlimited so once the meeting ends please try and join again by using the same link just use the same link to join again and uh, we can continue so uh, the meeting will end any moment soon uh, but try and uh, join again all right so now the uh, topic again is the the conceptual definition and types of um, security threats. So there are two aspects to this topic. One, we are looking at the definition of security threats. And on the other hand, we are looking at the types of security threats, okay? Now, this was sent to you to read. Um, let's just rush quickly to the definition conceptual definition of security threats. Um, as you can see, from my end, I have cherry picked two definitions that should qualify uh, for security threats. Uh, again, there is an image here to illustrate uh, what security threat is. You can see one extraneous element right there. Okay? In the midst of all of these people with common unity, there is a threat right there, threatening the existence of all of these people, okay? Now, um, a definition given by Ole Weber, Ole Weber in 1995, he defined security threat as uh, those problems that undermine, all right? Those problems that negates, those problems that are dangerous, to the security of any nation or community. Now, remember you are going to be taking your tutored mark assessment. Uh, in case you were asked that dash, 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 define security threat 
as those problems that undermines the security of any nation or community. You know, it was by waiver, waiver. Now, um, what is this definition talking about? The definition is saying that security threats are essentially problems, right? Problems that tends to um, undermine, that tends to put the security of any nation into great risk, okay? That tends to set it aside and then takes over in such a way that the nation no longer is no longer secured for people to live in. All right, now the uh, second aspect is that um, human or non-human elements, security threats are human or non-human elements that has the capacity to destroy the vital existence of any nation. Now, by this second definition, we are now getting the, the perception that security threats cannot just be caused by human beings. Security threats can also be caused by non-human elements, things that are not human beings, all right? Things that are not human beings. So uh, when we begin to look into the types of security threat, we'll be looking at the human and non-human types of security threat. So anything, whether human or non-human, that has the capacity to destroy the vital interests of any nation is a security threat. It's a security threat. Okay? I talked about uh, some natural types of security threat like earthquake, tsunami, uh, volcano, and the rest of others, all right? Now, those are also security threats because they have the capacity to displace people, to move people away from the... Um, where they live to somewhere else and even let people lose their lives. All right, so um, like I said, if this meeting ends, use the same link to join again. Uh, by next week, we will not have this problem, okay? All right, so now these are the two definitions. They are all saying the same thing. This one is a quote from somebody and this is his name right here. He says there are problems, security threats are problems that undermines the security of any nation or community. That's simple enough. Uh, the other one is telling us that they can, those problems can either be human or non-human. They can be made up of human or non-human elements. Um, those threats that are more of human elements, um, uh, there are different types of them. And there are some that are that are non-human elements I've mentioned, flood, earthquake, volcano. So let me hear from you uh, the types of uh, human security threats that are of human elements. Okay, so um, if you have something to say, uh, let me hear you, please just put your hand up. What are the types of um, non-human security threats? You can put your hand up if you remember. Okay, Yakubu, speak to us. What are types of non-human elements that non-human elements of security threat? Sir, flood, sir. Flood. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're talking about human flood. That's correct for non-human. Now, for yeah, human, uh, for, for human, human sir. you said uh, crisis, fighting, fighting crisis. Uh, fighting crisis. Okay. Now, what's what's even the meaning of human security threat? Human security threat. Who who has an idea? If you read it, human security threat, sir. Yes. Shall I, sir? Yes. Go ahead. Hello, sir. Go ahead. Human security threats are uh, security uh, threat that are caused by human beings. Sir. Good. That's excellent. So those are those are, in other words, they are called man-made threats. All right. They are threats made by man. Okay. So. Um, uh, Jeremiah, you have something to say? Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, sir. Yes, I can okay. hear you. Speak up. Uh, Man-made security threat uh, could be flooding, uh, sorry, uh, insurgency, 
uh, Fulani Hesmen, they are all security, uh, man made security threats. Boko Haram. Uh, That's terrorism. Terrorism. And et cetera, et cetera. Yes, sir. Yes, Boko yes, Haram is Boko Haram is just is just the name of the group. Yes. But the threat itself, which they perpetrate, is, is it has been uh, classified yes. under terrorism, right? Terrorism. Yes. So as students yes. of criminology yes, and security studies, we should uh, get that clear. I think you are absolutely okay. correct. You are very, very correct with your definition, <laughs> and I'm happy that you understand that. Okay. Uh Williams, you have something to add to that? Yes, uh, um, the human security threat uh, one is uh, ro uh, uh, robbery. Good, robbery, robbery. Yes, that's fantastic. Yes, sir. And uh, you have any other? You remember any uh, anyone else? Yeah, um, robbery and um, um. Look at the Nigerian uh, situation. Yeah. Yes, the terrorism. There's one that is also rampant now. There's a banditry. There's one that I want you to mention. Um, cyber, is it cyber threats? Cyber security threats? Yes, you are very oh, correct. The, you are very correct. They all fall under it. We have um, kidnapping. You know, kidnapping is... is, is uh, it says Kai, it's assuming a very dangerous trend right now. Okay, so those are all types of human security trade. Now, let's proceed. Uh, in less than one minute, this uh, slide, this uh, session will come to an end. Like I said, you should join again using the same link. Um, let me share my screen again. Okay, now we have looked into the definition of security threat, and I'm sure that um, uh, whatever question comes from there, you will be able to. Okay, let me allow you to join. Allow us to join. Okay, seven of us remaining uh, one more person or so. All right, so um, I was saying that. I now believe that you will be able to, um, okay, I think the last person is joined. You will be able to uh, define the term security threat. If asked, uh, whatever question comes from that angle, you should be able to handle it. Whatever threatens the existence. Once you read and uh, you are seeing things that has to do with um, threat, okay? Displacement of people, okay? Those key terms problems that undermines the security of any nation. Uh, human or no human element that has the capacity to destroy the vital interests of any nation. Those should give you an idea of what, uh, uh, to the point at that, the, the actual term is security threat. Now, you are not just reading to pass exams. Um, you are also reading to be able to use this concept as experts in security practice. So when you are speaking out there, um, rather than list them one by one, you can, before even listing them one by one, you can say uh, the different security threats in the Nigerian society today or bedeviling the Nigerian society today, such as banditry, kidnapping, terrorism, insurgency, and all, and the rest of others. Okay, so um, you should be able to speak like a professional. Now, let's look at uh, the types of security threats. We had already scratched towards this direction. Um, there are different types of security threats or two types of security threats, natural security threats and man-made security threat. Okay. Now, um, as students of criminology and security, and security studies, you should be exposed to different terminologies. You should not just stick to uh, the term natural security threat. You can also use other words. Like where you have natural here, you can at the same time say non-human, all right? Non-human. Anything that is non-human is natural, right? It is uh, it's not caused by somebody who is human. So non-human security threat is the same thing as natural security threat. So 
you can use the two terms uh, interchangeably. Non-human. Non-human is the same thing as natural. Okay? Non-human is the same thing as natural. Non-human security threat, natural security threat. They are all they all mean the same thing, all right? Uh, so if you choose to use natural security threat, great. If you choose to use non-human security threat, fantastic. Okay. Now let's come to man-made security threat. Man-made security threat. What is another term for man-made? You can use the term human. Human, all right? Anything that is man-made is of human. So it's either man-made security threats or human security threats. Now, these are the two categories of security threats. Um, I will be happy that at the end of this lesson, you should or you already know the two types of security threats. So whatever questions come from that angle, uh, to, uh, asking you to identify the type of security threat, you already know they are either natural security threat or natural security threat and man-made security threat or uh, non-human security threat and human security threat. Anyhow, it is mixed, all right? Anyhow, it is mixed. Just understand that another term for natural is what? Non-human. Another term for, for man-made is what? Human, okay? So uh, that is it. I'll come back to this. I'll ask you questions about that. All right, now let's look at um, the natural security threat. Natural security threat. Uh, you can see flood right there. You can see something that looks like an earthquake in those pictures. Uh, natural security threat are threats that are caused by mother nature, threats that are caused by nature, okay? Caused by nature. They can be major or minor threats. They can be major or minor threats. Uh, examples of those threats are floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, global warming, rising temperature, hurricanes, storms, etc. Okay, this is quite easy to understand. I had sent this to you, so you should be able to read and understand that. The basic thing here is that uh, natural security threats are threats that are caused by nature. If you don't like, you can strike this up. That's okay. Um, Natural security threats are threats that are caused by nature. So you can list all of them. You have flooded quakes, tornadoes. Uh, even by this picture, some of you learn better with pictures. You know, those are all natural security threats. All right, so now, how about man-made security threats? Security threats that are made by man-made. We're using a picture that captures the Boko Haram people in their uh, terrorism act, all right? Uh, this is like a cyber criminal right here. Uh, any threat that is a product of man's action, any threat resulting uh, from what human beings are doing that is now beginning to threaten the security of any nation, it is considered a security threat. Now, uh, we are likely going to be having some discussion forums. We will point out some um, social issues in Nigerian society and ask you to discuss them, how they constitute uh, security threat. For instance, the uh, struggle of the, of the indigenous people of uh, Biafra, uh, does it constitute a uh, security threat? What type of security threat does it constitute? I'm sure you'll be able to discuss that, okay? Uh, so now, man-made security threats are threats or hazards. Uh, another word for threats uh, is a hazard that are caused as a result of human action. I'd mentioned that. Those threats that are as a result of human actions are termed man-made security threats or human security threats. An example of those are terrorism, kidnapping, cyber attack, arson, civil disorder. Now, this is a key word here if you are a student of uh, criminology and security studies, arson. Um, let me come back now to you. Uh, what is the meaning of uh, arson? What does arson mean? Does uh, any of you here have an idea? Can anyone here explain the term arson? Arson, you can just uh, put your hand up. Okay. Um, Yakubu, let me hear from you. What does arson mean? Uh, 
Also, it's illegal setting fire on someone's property or your own property. Okay, good, good. That's that's correct. That's correct. Let me hear from uh, Williams. We are you are experts in security studies. So this is a term that. Uh, for yes, I just said the the, the correcting. Okay, that's good. Answer, yes. I just wanted to give you the same set. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Good. It is the. I just want to say. I just wanted to say the. Hello, sir. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. I, I also want to say the un unlawful setting a blaze of uh, fire on a. Uh, yes. Uh, Certain, setting a blaze, setting a blaze of fire. So that's correct. Yes, that's correct. Okay. All right. So um, I hope, Jeremiah, are you going to say something different? Yeah. Are you saying anything differently from what they have said? Jeremiah? Well, just a second. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I said setting fire, setting fire on. Uh, someone's property with bad intent. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. oh, sorry. You cannot mute yourself. I think uh, I, I muted you in error. You cannot mute yourself right now. You cannot mute yourself. You you cannot mute yourself and speak. All right. Now, let me ask you, let's discuss this further. Why do people, um, aside from... Okay. Can you hear me now, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. I said arson is setting fire on a property with secret motive. Okay, that's correct. Now, let me ask, why? what are some of the reasons uh, why people commit arson? Why do people go into arson? What are some of the reasons? Just give me an instance. They have something they want to ask. For instance? They want to hide from crime. <laughs> okay. All right. Another instance, Hello. anybody has yes. any other thing? Uh, that's, that's understood. To try to hide evidence or something. Yes. Okay, any other? Oh, no. Yes, Michael? It could also be an attempt to claim a right, either from insurance policy. Good, 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 good. A fraudulent attempt to uh, claim an illegal uh, uh, compensation. Okay, that's correct. Okay, uh, I think I've heard what I wanted to hear. Now, um, what is another term for non-human security threat? What is another term for non-human security threat? You can unmute yourself if you know the answer. What is another term for non-human security threat? Natural. Hello, sir. Natural. 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 Okay. Natural, Natural, Natural security Natural. threat. Natural. Yeah. Okay. Natural. Now, what, 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 what is another term for man-made man security threat? Deliberate. No. Man-made. What is another, what is another human, term human for man-made security human, threat? Human. Human security threat. Human security okay. threat. Okay. Human security. Okay. Okay. All threats, all threats, all threats that are as a result of human actions are classified as what? As human security threat. Human security threat. As human security threat. Threat. Okay. Now let's let's discuss this. Oh, man made security threat. Uh, yes. Let's discuss this. Man made security threat. Okay, flood. Flood is classified as what? Natural. Natural, Natural security threat. Natural security threat. Okay, now, now we, now we, now we have, we have the, we have the drainages that the erosion is supposed to run through, and as a result of man's action, those drainages were blocked, leading to heavy flooding. 
How do you classify that type of security threat? Yeah. As human security threats. It's, it's a combination it. of human security threat and natural security threat. Why? No, I disagree with that, sir. Because man, man contributed to the flood. It, it is the negligence. It is the negligence of man that causes the overflow. So it's man-made. Okay. You can begin to hear different versions. Okay. I'm listening. Man and natural. Why is it natural? Is why, natural why, is it, why is it natural and why is it man? All right. It's natural because causes by a flood or a flooding of water. While it's human, because sometimes human block the drain in a way that the water will follow. Because there's no way for the water to follow, it now begins to break and enter into property and land and step over. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I've gotten your point. Okay. So these are some of the things we are going to be discussing. Um, all right so these are some of the things we are going to be discussing um in the discussion forum a discussion forum is going to be created and i employ all of you to participate so we will discuss these things i will give you my position uh about them in the discussion forum and and uh, let you know how they can be handled all right. It is good for us to interact like this in a scholarly manner and uh, know how to handle issues like this. Okay. So let's keep it there for now. Uh, we will come back to to uh, to those issues with time. All right. Just be patient. Like I said, this is an introductory class, and so let's not beat more than we can chew at this point. Uh, just a minute, please. Just a minute. All right. Okay. I think uh, we have um, actually dealt with the facts. Um, if you give me a little time, I will finish up right now. Okay. All right, so we have looked at the, um, the cost structure for today. We have also looked at the, sorry, I'm mixing things up. Let me finish it. Okay, so we have looked at the cost structure for uh, this course, and we have also looked at the conceptual definition of security threats, and we have looked at the two basic types of security threats. Uh, that will wrap up the lecture for today. By next week, we'll be taking up our second topic. Uh, before, the, before next week, I will send you an email containing the materials for that next lesson. Please do your best and read them. Read them, jot your points, keep your questions, and ensure that um, uh, if there are gray areas that needs to be discussed, bring them to class, then we can discuss them together. So um, I am sure that at this time, uh, any question that has to do with um, the two basic types of security threats can be handled effectively by you, all right? I'm sure you can discuss them effectively. The other question I raised, uh, we can discuss that in the discussion forum with time, but for now, um just be patient um i will raise them up when it is time to commence the discussion once again thank you for um, attending this class thank you for listening uh, if you have questions i will just open up the floor then uh, we can take one or two questions before we shut down for today so let me hear from you if you have anything to say You can just put up your hand. 
Okay, uh, Williams, speak to us very briefly. Yes, I just want to ask uh, briefly, uh, these uh, astronauts, I think it's classified under the natural security threat. Yes. Okay, sir. Yes. Okay. You can put down your hand. Um, Ruben? Yes, sir. My question, sir, is about uh, this community conflict. Can it be a security threat, sir? Of course, it can. It can threaten the existence of the inhabitants of that community. Okay. And that can be classified under man-made or uh, human security threat. Even civil, even civil dis disobedience, even protest, even strike action. Okay? All right. So I am sure that is all we can take for uh, today. I hope to see you again on Monday by 12 to 1. Like I said, nobody should log in here on Wednesday. This class is a makeup class. So by Monday, 12 to 1, we will see you again and discuss. Before then, I will send you an email with uh, the topic of discussion so you can read before the class. The class has to be very interactive. It has to be engaging. If you have questions, you can send them to me on email and I will find time to, to respond to them. Once again, thank you and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.